Hey, this is Paul Zagman here at Lasco Ford in Fenton. Just wanted to introduce to you the all new 2017 Ford Super Duty. Now we're gonna bring to you the, uh, the Platinum. So let's just go right to the top and give you every bell and whistle uh, that we can try and show you. So uh, options pretty much endless. And when they say it's an all new, haven't uh, had this revamp and complete all new redesign since 1999. So when Ford brings this to the table, they're bringing the best of the best. We have 40 plus years of reputation on the line for being the king of the mountain. Now let's just start out with the front and take a look at what a couple of these options are. Let's start with a quad beam LED headlamp. That's massive. Take a look at the size of it. With an outside running light, this is gonna be LED. And when they say quad beam, they're relating to these two quad beam LED lights that you're gonna see here. So when you, when you look at this truck, this one is gonna have all LED in the front, a stainless steel is gonna be represented on the, on the platinum package with a painted bumper and a chrome recovery hook up front. You're gonna have an embossed Super Duty uh, on the bolster of the hood just going, you know what I'm driving, it's massive and it's ready to do the work that uh, we're about to line up for it. So let's start talking about some new things that they're bringing to the table for 2017. Well, we have power deployable running boards, we've got a new high polished aluminum wheel, we still stuck with the uh, manual locking hubs and the reason for that is we run a solid front axle on, a, uh, on an F2 and F350 single rear wheel which is gonna be uh, not what some of our competition is doing. When it comes to plowing, when it comes to just the durability and reliability that Ford's bringing to the table, this is what we wanna represent. So let's talk about a couple other things. Four link front suspension going to your front solid axle. That's kind of a big deal. We've got our new, uh, new headlamps, is, or our new mirrors as well, and this is gonna be a uh, power uh, folding and also this is gonna be a power option to extend these out or bring those in a little bit closer to you. So it, it is nice for parking the vehicle, pulling into a garage, you're able to collapse those mirrors for you. And exclusive in uh, the Ford Super Duty alone and over a, in a three quarter ton or a one ton class, we have a side spotter mirror as well. Nobody else has it, we do, we're Ford. Intelligent key access as well. So we're just gonna be able to walk up to our truck and lock or unlock the vehicle simply by grabbing the door handle. A big part about this one is actually gonna be the power deployable running boards. Now we're gonna lift this truck. It's about an inch and a half to two inches, uh, depending on 250 or 350, higher than what you saw for the 2016 model year. What does that do for you on these boards? Well, it drops those down lower than the previous fixed running board's gonna be. So it makes the access to the cab much easier. Let's talk about the cab. The cab is gonna be shared with an F-150. What does that mean for buyers and owners? Well, F-150 has a bigger cab than what the 2016 F-250 and 350 had. So, more room for the driver passenger, more room for the rear passengers, and a completely flat floor in the back as well, and we'll get into that. So, this is just gonna share a door skin, a cab, door skin for the back door as well, and that makes parts readily available and a lot less expensive body repair and maintenance on the vehicle, okay? So we keep moving forward to the bed. So the bed of the truck, that's a new design. It's a new design since, well, we haven't really had a major bed redesign since 1999 again. Class exclusive, again, blind spot awareness system is gonna be on this truck with cross traffic alert. So an LED tail lamp, and you're gonna run a radar system of the blind spot awareness system for the F2 and 350s. Now this is a 6.2 liter gas option we do have diesel as well, and the diesel engine is going to be a 6.7 liter with a CGI block. Massive power coming out of that at 925 pound-feet of torque and just an immense amount of power. So really, really improving what your capabilities are. More to the tailgate than what you think. Yes, you have Super Duty down below, and you have Platinum with your stainless steel placard that's going to be on the back as well, but we got a couple more. We've got a LED light here that's going to illuminate where your rear view camera with digital zoom is gonna be at. So that's gonna illuminate when you put the vehicle into reverse, you're actually gonna be able to see what's behind you. That accompanied with your reverse tail lights, LED again, it's just gonna make life that much easier to hook up a trailer or drop a trailer at nighttime or just better, visi better visibility backing out at night. So take a look at the receiver here. We're gonna have a reducer. Ford's kind of known for this and this is a huge upgrade. So we have this reducer. This sleeve is gonna go from a three and a half, take this down to a three inch receiver for the back so it can still fit the, uh, the different hitch uh, applications that you're gonna be using from your previous trucks. But reverse sensing system goes along with that. We've moved the location of your seven pin and four pin wiring harness. We have LED uh, rear uh, license plate uh, lights as well. And uh, just it, the, the hits keep on coming. So with this truck, I'm not touching anything except for the remote. This is gonna be a remote tailgate release. 
So let's take a look inside the bed real quick. We've got a thicker floor that Ford brought to the table than what F-150 is doing. Well, why did they do that? Because your payload capability on the uh, Ford Super Duty is, well, for a single rear wheel, 4,200 pounds. So people used to say one ton, well, that's 2,000 pounds. We're over two times that amount. So a thicker floor that's gonna be in here with more cross members underneath the flooring. So that's nice, and it's able to do more capability than Super Duty's ever been able to do before. Taking a look inside of the bed, you have what's called a box link system as well. Class exclusive with box link system is gonna allow you to have things like loading ramps or additional tie downs. You've got four factory cleats that are in here and four more that you can tie in for eight total cleats in the vehicle. It makes it really, really easy to throw the two by fours and the longer things that you're gonna be hauling in this vehicle and be able to tie them down securely. That, along with four LEDs here and four LEDs there, and that's gonna be for your illuminated bed lighting too. So turning these on is as easy as touching this rubber button here, and that's gonna illuminate this side to that side. And it's really nice that if you've got a uh, tonneau cover on it, you can actually see in the middle of the night, everything all the way up to the front. And those are actually gonna illuminate your uh, center high mount stoplight as well on the right and left of that for your cargo lamps. When we touch the button, they'll dim slowly and, and turn themselves off. Redesign two is gonna be on the tailgate step of the vehicle. So we used to have a bolstering handle that came up here and we had a little feedback from customers saying, well, it kind of gets in the way when you slide a sheet of plywood in, a sheet of OSB or, uh, or um, using sheet rock or drywall, those types of things. We want to make it easier on the customer because that's what this truck is for. So this is now going to have a trigger release for your tailgate step to drop down here. Okay, then you're going to have a handle that is pulled out from the uh, tailgate as well. And now we don't have to unfold the step again. It's a spring-loaded step, so it's already there and easy to do. So this is gonna be a two-step process here. First step is to, just to, to collapse your handle. The second part of this is just gonna take and, and lower your handle again. We're gonna take it and put it back inside the tailgate. Just lift this and be able to put it back in. Now, this is nice, because you've got shutting the tailgate is pretty much effortless, but this is gonna be running off of a hydraulic pump located inside where your rear tail light is to be able to drop this without slamming it. And that's how you have part of your triggered release system for your tailgate release. That's just a tailgate. You think they put some time into a Ford F-250? I know they do. So let's take a look at a couple options that are gonna be going on the inside of the vehicle. And I'm gonna show you why Ford is bringing the best beast to the party when it comes to people using a truck to work, not just drive around like a car with a bed on it. Let's take a look at the inside real quick and uh, follow me. Now it's time to take a look at the interior. And you're gonna see a pretty similar interior of what you're gonna have with the 150. Again, a shared cab. But now options keep on coming. It's the things you don't see that Ford keeps, to, uh, keeps impressing me with. Um, this is going to be starting out with memory seating that's uh, available in the Super Duty. You also have a power folding mirror. These are the expanding mirrors. Um, and then you're going to have all your mirror controls, window controls, wood grain is going to be on the inside of it, leather bolsters for the seating uh, or for the door uh, panels here, a, uh, a placard here of platinum. Yes, that is an illuminated uh, sill entering into the vehicle. We have a sienna leather for the interior, and uh, what that's going to do is give you additional trim lines here to just give you a little bit better durability getting in and getting out of the vehicle with uh, constant wear. Take a look at the lighting up here. We're going to have the auto headlamps. We're also going to have up here, this is where your location is going to be for side spotter mirrors. Now, that's a spotlight that's going to be on the outside uh, exterior mirrors, driver and passenger side. Awesome. Cargo lamps. We've got our fog lights as well, brighten and dim. And then you have here our uh, power adjustable pedals along with our tailgate release. Power tilt telescopic steering control or steering column up here on the top. Now this isn't just a horn underneath this is actually where we have an adaptive steering system. Now the adaptive steering system is a crucial part of what Ford's bringing to the table. An adaptive steering uh, uh, system is an additional gearbox that's able to reduce the amount of revolutions you're turning the steering wheel to get maximum turning radius of the truck. Huge, huge opportunities. Now, we're, we're getting back into doing remote starts. The F-150 has, has remote start, has push button start. Now it's in the Super Duty, awesome. We've got it up here on our dash, full LED dash, right? Or LCD dash here. So that's your productivity screen that you used to have in, in the other trucks uh, or in the 16s. Um, now we're able to go through and do all kinds of customizing. We're able to do things like, well, adaptive cruise control with collision support, right? So you have a brakes that are preloaded to be able to stop the truck and the load if somebody stops short on the highway behind you. Well, that's cool, but guess what? Not all of our competition offers it. 
So we want to bring the safest, most capable truck to the market. This is really cool, the 8.4 inch screen. This is going to be the SYNC 3 system, revised again, heated steering wheel, air conditioned seats, heated seats, dual climate control, four wheel drive, two wheel drive, four wheel low. Pull this switch out and you're going to engage a locking rear differential. We have our trailer brake controller optimizing the amount of, uh, of brake support that you're going to have depending on the load for the trailer with your gain and output down below with a plus and minus indicator. We've really maximized what we're doing with space as well. You saw before a lot of the center console shifters that you're going to have in the F-150. Well, in the 250s and 350s, we have four cup holders with this sliding uh, sheath here that's going to give you an opportunity to hold four drinks up front. We've got an extra storage compartment with a smart charging USB system. Now, this is going to charge tablets, iPhones, Androids, and you're going to be able to do that really quickly. And it's cool because uh, you're actually going to charge them much faster than you would with a standard USB charging port. Definitely a crucial way to do this. Well, we've got a traction control system. We also offer a descent control system, uh, which is going to give you a optimized cruise control at low rate of speed on steep inclines too. Diesel is offering an exhaust brake, and the exhaust brake has three different categories. You're able to turn it on, off, or put it on an auto setting. With it engaged in the on uh, mode, you're actually, every time you're releasing the accelerator, you're using the engine braking. In an auto setting, it's going to be using it more on a descent. So you're optimizing the life of your brakes. Now you notice it's pretty bright in here. Reason why? First in class twin panel and exclusive moonroof. Unbelievable, the entire roof of this truck is glass. So if you want to bring the lavish options and maximum capability to the table, let's take a look at what we can do with Super Duty. The back seat even gets better. We've got a really cool storage system that's going to be underneath the back seat as well. Let's take a look at that together. Let's take a look at the back seat. It's definitely important that you have a comfortable seating position for the rear occupants as well. Because nine times out of ten, these are the guys that are going to help you do whatever job you need to do. Well, in the, in the Super Duty and in the 17, we've got a new storage system too. So not only a comfortable leather seat that is heated on the back of your console with a 400 watt, 110 volt outlet, right? So that is definitely crucial, three prong outlet there. And then you still have your other 12 volt outlet there, okay? So let's take a look at the seat, super easy. Check out how hard it is to fold it up. You lift it, this is the release for it, simple as that. Storage over here, and then you do have a power inverter. This is where that's located for your 400 watts here. Your second 400 watt outlet is actually gonna be up on the dash to the right side of your, of your uh, sync um, LCD uh, screen up there. Okay, so let's take a look at this. What is this piece here? Well, you'll notice it's a completely flat floor, optimizing your space, no transmission hump, and we can do that because we're using 95% boron high strength steel in our framing. Now our framing, massive frame. Our frame is big enough to fit a General Motors frame inside of ours. That's awesome. So you're gonna have this in an unlocked position. Let's take a look at the storage tray. Okay, so this is gonna either be in a lock or unlocked setting. So let's keep it into unlocked. We're gonna grab this and pull it up. You've got a, leather, a lever here. That's gonna lock this to engage more storage. And the cool thing is, you don't have to go to both sides. This lever is actually gonna actuate both sides. Then you can return this into a locked position uh, when it's down or up. And here's the cool thing too. You've got a separator that's able to be used. So if you wanna keep it up, there's your extra support. Now you've just maximized your storage compartment in the back of the uh, F-250 here. So yeah, I think they thought about just about everything. And the cool thing is Ford just always has their ears open to customer response. It's the biggest thing. Not only that, but we're gonna be seeing Ford Pass coming along with uh, other options, not available yet in 17 for the, um, for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's gonna be in the 150 17, but they are gonna introduce that to Super Duty. It's just not available yet. So the other part of this too is just gonna be going, use your Ford Pass. Ford has developed a, uh, an awesome application that allows you to track your vehicle. It's usable with any vehicle. It doesn't even have to be a Ford product. But the nice thing is you're able to schedule your maintenance and select your dealer. Pick your favorite, like us here at Lasco Ford and Fenton. But this is the all new, and I mean all new, Super Duty. I'm looking forward to showing it to you in person. Feel free to give us a call or check out our webpage at www.lascoford.com or give us a ring, 810-629-2255. We really appreciate it. And again, this is Paul Zagman here at Lasco Ford. Thanks for watching.